Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We certainly do give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. And as the scripture says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. The Bible says, enter in his gates with thanksgiving and enter in his courts with praise. It's a good thing to give thanks and it's good things to praise the Lord. And as we come together on today, we certainly want to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Uh, it's a good thing to come and give thanks unto the Lord because he is great and he's greatly to be praised. And I want to wish all the mothers a, a happy Mother's Day. Uh, truly, uh, God is good and we love our mothers. We love them dearly. Uh, we love them so much. <laughs> I going to say that. I was going to say something. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We... We love them, and we give thanks and grace unto them, and we praise God for them. Amen. They put forth a special sacrifice. I believe it's because of those nine months they carried us. I believe it's because the getting up in the midnight hours, in the wee hours of the night, uh, feeding and nurturing and taking care and, and being at the ones that keep us going, keep us living, to keep us uh, surviving. So I salute all the mothers that have a love that's beyond all understanding. I salute all the mothers that go beyond even physical abilities to take care of their families and to take care of those in whom they love. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, we want to remember uh, men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved and that the Lord will continue to help us, to strengthen us, give us wisdom and knowledge and understanding on how to uh, evolve even during these changing times. Uh, not everybody, everybody doesn't like change, but change is inevitable. And let us have it in our hearts and our minds that we will change and that we will grow, that we will mature ourselves in Christ. So, um, Make your prayer request known, and we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, certainly we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. We thank you for the Holy Ghost, the anointing, the ability, Lord, to walk in your ways, the ability to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, today we will give thanks. Today we will magnify you. Today we will lift you up. I have it in my spirit, Lord. We are determined, determined to magnify the name of the Lord. Your name is too great. Your powerful and too awesome not to give glory and honor to. So, Lord, we, power, we make known unto us your ways. Make known to us, hallelujah, how to give you glory, how to magnify you in these last and evil days. And Lord, bless our service on today. Give us the mind, Lord, to be on one accord. Bless our singers on today. Bless those that are gathered together here in the audience. Strengthen them in their spirit, their soul, and their body. Grant us what we need in the name of Jesus. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We certainly do thank God and welcome you to another uh, live broadcast of Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. I'm the lead pastor, Suffolk and Bishop-elect, Pastor Frankie L. Quinn, and we thank God for our leadership here on today. We thank God for our, our lovely wife, lovely wife, Tracy Quinn. Amen. And we thank God, even in our audience on today, the mother of Christian ministries. Amen. Mother Louise Davis. Amen. Who even celebrated her birthday. 70 years old. Yeah, glory. I love, I, I, I didn't ask how old she was, but I wouldn't have guessed 70. <laughs> we certainly do thank God for her. Amen. Thank you, Lord, in her labor of love. And we certainly do thank God for, I call them our first responders, the tribe of Judah. Amen. Our praise and our worship team. Amen. And our musicians, we thank God for them coming uh, and pressing their way to make this a great uh, service. And I also thank God for you all that tune in, that support, that send up likes. Thank you, Lord, that have views. Um, uh, in this pandemic, we
We have more views now than we did before. So we thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. That, that lets us know that we're vital. That lets us know that we're needed. Amen. So we want you to uh, join in our service at home. Give thanks unto the Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost percolating. I feel the move of God moving in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. So we, they're going to come and bring us an A and B selection. So let us sing with them and let us rejoice with them. Amen. And give praises unto our God. In Jesus' name. Amen.
God, we worship you today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song says, I won't go back. I won't go back to the way that it used to be. Hallelujah, God, for you have revived me. You have saved me. You have filled me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. I will not go back. I won't go back into the world. There's nothing out there for me. There's nothing out there for you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him in his sanctuary. Hallelujah.
Come on, lift your voice and worship Him today. 